to welcome back to my channel so today um we are bleaching my hair i know it's still really short but i've just always wanted to try um a bleached buzz cut and since i'm um, on the last video that i did that was dyeing my hair gray i missed the part of bleaching because it turned out the camera wasn't recording so i thought i owe it to you guys um to refilm that part and show you guys how exactly i bleach my hair i did try to explain it on that video um just um verbally how i did it so today i'm just gonna show you guys Guys, practically now not verbally how you actually do it what goes down what is it that I use and yeah so we're gonna do that and yeah if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe you guys we also reached a very very big milestone we reached 500 subscribers so now we are a family of 500 oh, thank you Thank you so much guys for being a part of my family and i think i will be doing a giveaway really soon but i'm still thinking what to give away and um what should be the t's and c's of the giveaway as well so yeah while i'm still figuring that out if you are new here please subscribe so that you can be part of that giveaway as well when it comes and yeah if you've been here then continue to stick by you might be the winner and yeah just wait for more content to come Okay, so today the bleach we'll be using will be from the same brand that I used to dye my hair gray, which is this Renew bleach. In this um, 50 grams container, there's, there's um, powder here, a, ble a bleach powder. And then there's also a developer, which is in 100 ml. It is in 100 ml developer. It's from the same brand, Renew. This was a leftover. I actually have two leftovers because I've been bleaching my hair. So, so what I would do is I wouldn't finish this when bleaching my hair. So I would just use a leftover when I bleach it again. So now I have like this and this left um in my cupboard. So yeah, we're gonna use this two today. So what we're gonna do is um I'm just gonna open this. I'm just gonna open this and as you can see here this powder um, this is bleach powder and then there's um, a developer so what I think I will do is I will just add this onto this because I intend to do something else on that little bowl of mine that I usually mix things in like dye and bleach and stuff I intend to do something else so I will just mix these two in here and then whatever is left over I'll just throw it away because when it's already mixed then you can't keep it so that's what I'm gonna do also when you are doing this process you need to wear something you do not care about I usually wear this t-shirt as you can see it has stains somewhere um, because bleach can fall and you don't want it to fall on your skin or onto your favorite top so just wear something you do not care about or just have a dedicated t-shirt um, that you will wear every time you color your hair or you bleach it <laughs> another thing that you will need is a hair food or a vaseline tub uh, so that you can apply it along your hairline so that when bleach accidentally gets into your skin it doesn't burn your skin and also you will need a serum or a coconut oil i use this serum um, and just apply it on my hair before i apply um bleach so let's do that right now i'm just gonna put a generous amount of the serum on my hand and rub it oopsie so right after that i'm gonna go in with my hair foot and just apply it along my hairline so that the bleach will not burn my facial skin Okay, so right after applying that, another protective measure that you need to take is to wear plastic or latex gloves. I have this with me, so I'm just going to wear my gloves now before I mix the bleach because I think I'm done using my hands. I apply the serum on my head and applied hair food around my hairline. So now I'm just going to wear these gloves and start mixing the bleach up and then we're just going to 
get into it you guys and bleach my hair my scalp is probably tired you guys i've been changing colors now i think this is like the fifth time changing colors but yeah it's fun so we're just gonna pour the developer onto the powder oopsie Okay, let's just use the back of this brush to mix this because now it's like it's full full okay so this is how my paste looks like and now that is mixed it is smooth and it has no lumps so another thing you need to do before you apply bleach if you have never bleached your hair before it's important that you do a screen a screen test just to check um, if you will not react it's important to do a skin test i mean and a strand test just to see how long um, it'll take for your hair to be bleached also to see if your skin won't react to the bleach so i've bleached my hair before i've never done a strand test before and that's really risky but i'm a risk taker so do not be me yeah i've did it before and um yeah i know what to do so that it won't irritate my scalp like the thing of applying um the serum or coconut oil onto your head before applying bleach and do not wash your head and scrub it like um a day or two before you actually apply bleach you need to let your scalp rest before applying bleach for at least two days so that's what i do I did not wash my hair yesterday and the day before yesterday so I think I'm good to go so right now I'm just gonna go on ahead and apply this bleach onto my head now I will use the brush side now maybe you guys are like asking yourselves how come this bleach is white because you are used to having um, like the blue powder i also do not know but i know that um the renew one comes white and the other one that i buy from a local cosmetics store, store i mean it comes blue so i really don't know but what i know is that they do the same job so yeah let's bleach this buzz card of mine I also just start on the front when applying any hair colorant or any trim even when I'm relaxing my hair mm. I just start at the front where I can see I do not know which is the right technique because I am NOT a professional cosmet cosmetologist or hairstylist so I just do what I feel is right for me so if you copy me copy me at your own risk you're probably thinking um there's a lot of product now in my head but it is better that you have a lot than to end up with a hair um with a head that has two colors or with some dark spots rather than having it all white so i just like to layer this on as much as possible and try to make sure that it is like all over my head and i did not miss even a little spot because i once had that crisis but luckily it was a little bit right here so you guys couldn't see it was like at the backish just a little bit at the backish so when i'm like this you guys wouldn't be able to see but when i like this you'll be able to see but my hair was a bit longer then and it the, the spot only showed like after i cut my hair so now my hair is short and yeah i think i covered every spot in my hair even my even the back of my head but i'm just gonna go on to my bathroom just check um for a while there and ensure that the bleach is actually applied properly and evenly at the back of my head as well i'm not sure if you guys can see but my hair is starting to lose um the blackness in the background there so yeah um, this is how much bleach that is left into this. It's still a lot of bleach. I feel like you can do another head in this. Well, another head that is bald like mine. Not bald, but with a buzz cut. Yep. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go on ahead and just make sure in my bathroom 
that everything is applied evenly okay guys so now i have bleach applied in my head evenly everywhere and i can see my hair underneath there that it is starting um to turn white so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put on this shower cap And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on for like, uh, I'm just gonna leave this for like 40 to 50 minutes in my head. Um, if I do feel any reaction, maybe saying it's burning, then I'll just go wash it. But usually it doesn't. Like right now, I feel that there's something in my head, but it's not like burning. It's just a little bit of itching, but like not that hectic at all. And it's just, it's normal basically. So I'm just gonna keep it for 40 minutes just to make sure that uh, my hair will come out white 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 and then you guys gonna see okay so now on to the new trick that i learned here on youtube that i'm gonna just try um it just that i'm just gonna try it with you guys like right now i'm actually not gonna dye my hair gray today so um if you're asking yourself how we're gonna get that yellowishness that comes after you wash the bleach on your head how we're gonna get it off your answer is <laughs> guys we're using the gentian violet drops today this thing right here i got this at clicks for like 17 rands um i saw on youtube um some videos of people mixing this with their shampoo or conditioner because um you guys know most that the color blue or purple um it like takes off the, the the yellowish color so i do not have a purple shampoo and i couldn't find a purple shampoo so we're gonna use this so i'm not dyeing my hair um gray today we're just going straight at platinum blonde so we're gonna use this and i'm gonna mix it with you guys and um we're gonna see how it comes out this thing i know it's quite strong it is like purple purple like dark purple and it usually you see like people who put it on their lips usually they have like those purple stains for like a long time even when they haven't applied it um it is basically for wounds and yeah i guess it's not harmful um to your hair because it's medicine after all i don't know and it's for wounds external wounds that is but mouth lips as well i don't know but yeah let's just mix this with the conditioner i'm gonna mix it with the conditioner um that i'm gonna use which is this sachet of conditioner um 30 ml of conditioner from renew as well so yeah we're just gonna cut that and then we're gonna put it onto my bow so this is why i wasn't using my bow um to mix the bleach earlier i was saving it for this part so we have this conditioner and this bow so now we're just gonna go on ahead and open this you guys can see from the cap right there how purple this is we're just gonna put a little bit you guys not like crazy amount let's just like boom. okay i think that is enough <laughs> i think that is enough so this is how much of the gentian drops violet drops i put in here so now let's mix and see how this conditioner will end up looking like it's purple you guys like purple purple okay you guys so this is how the conditioner looks like i feel like it's um it's not enough though but it is enough i guess so it is enough for my head because i do not have hair after all and it's that one such at like a full of it and i usually will use that such at one such at of that and it's usually enough so what i will do with this is that um when i'm in the shower after washing my hair um this is the shampoo that i have that i will use from l'oreal so after using my lviv this is the shampoo the shampoo that I will be using from L'Oreal, the Elviv Extraordinary or Extraordinary Oil Shampoo. So after washing my hair while I'm in the shower, what I will do is I will, um, after washing my hair, I will just apply this conditioner and just let it stay in my head for like a few minutes. 
no not a few minutes let's say one minute because i do not want my hair to become purple well, i wouldn't mind like i wouldn't mind having purple hair but right now we're just looking for silverish or platinum blonde hair so i'm just gonna apply this for like a minute while i'm in the shower and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys how it looks like okay so now it's been like how many minutes since i've had this a few minutes so i'm just gonna keep this on and then i'm gonna show you guys how everything looks down here um before i go wash my hair and before i apply the conditioner and then i'm gonna come back after washing and show you guys how everything looks like okay okay guys so i am back and it has been 40 minutes since i've had this on my head and i still haven't felt any irritation except it feels like I'm cooking something in there like it's not burning my scalp but it's like really hot inside here so yeah that's what's happening so I'm just gonna show you guys how everything looks like oh so this is how everything looks like before washing you see the bleach formed that like foam kind of appearance I uh, need to wash my shower cap I will wash it as I go shower so let's just um remove a little bit of this right here and then you guys can see this is how my hair looks like and you can see as much as it is bleached it has that yellowish um thing going on right there so this is where the purple conditioner um <laughs> that we made is gonna come in and we're just gonna see how everything is gonna look like after we apply that so now i'm gonna go shower wash this off um put on conditioner the purple one and then i'm gonna come back to the camera and show you guys how everything looks like because i'm not about to have yellow hair nope i nah i can't so yeah I'll see you guys soon okay guys so this is the finished look this is me after showering and I've already moisturized my hair and I don't think it's any different from the look I created when I was using the renew dye when I was using the whole package and the actual dye from there I really do not think it is any different because you see there's like that purple-ish color peeking through from my hair still even though it is like um, silver platinum ish but there's that purple as well but I'm not mad I'd rather have this than to have yellow hair period no yellow hair for me imagine like yo like no I can't have yellow hair so yeah this is the finished look and I love I love like I really I love it and I'm not mad I really I'm not mad at this purplish color because I know I as the days go by and I shower the purplish color will wear off and I will remain with my silver platinum hair so yeah this is how this looks guys and another advice that i would give you is rather don't mix the the gentian violet um with your conditioner and leave it for a minute in your head like i did because that thing stays like there is a lot of it in my hair i had to like scrub it out basically because i had purple hair which is a lot good but i wasn't going for purple hair so i had to wash it out i had to make sure that i strap it out so my advice to you is mix the gentian um is it gentian i don't even know how to pronounce this yes the gentian violet with your shampoo rather and then you wash your hair with it not to apply it and leave it for a bit i didn't even leave it for a minute literally after applying like when i was finished with the back um part of my head when i tried removing like the conditioner hair just to check before maybe going on like showering my whole body um just to check if it was changing and my hair was already purple i had to wash it dried like on the spot i had to just wash it so i think it's really better if you just put it on your shampoo and then you just wash with um with that mixture of your shampoo and the gentian violet and then yeah your hair will lose the yellowish undertone on it and then you will remain with your silver platinum blonde hair and you'll be good to go so yeah ah uh, that's my two cents you guys please note that i am not i am not a professional hairstylist i do this at home for you to watch me if you decide to try it by yourself at home then that's you that's your thing i am not to be held accountable if anything goes wrong so okay 
i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you haven't again please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you've been here then thank you for sticking by and wait for more content to come i can't wait to see you guys on my next video i love you guys bye